This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. We are making, making ha, a nature scene. So, and we want to use variables to do this. I am going to tell you, I am not going to start by throwing down a bunch of variables and trying to figure out the numbers. It's a headache. This is a visual thing and I'm already bad at art. So I'm going to start by putting things on the screen. So if I'm doing nature, I, I think I need ground. I know, shocking. I'm creative. I'm going to throw down a rectangle and let's just see where this goes. Ah, yep. So things to keep in mind is this X, Y, width, and height. So rectangles start drawing from their top uh, left, right there. So 100, 100. So if I hit reset, notice that my X and Y, the little ones on the screen, are about 100, 100. I can also show my grid. Things to keep in mind, X, as you go to the right, gets bigger. Y, though, is strange. Y is 400 at the bottom, but as you go up, it gets smaller. So keep that in mind. Uh, the ground, that being said, is uh, if that's 100 for X, uh, let's do zero. Let's see if this is moving where I want. Yep. And then let's do uh, 350. If I put it at 400, it will be off the page. I'm going to do 300, I guess. And then the width for X needs to be 400 because it's 400. And then 100 because... So the whole screen's 400. Cool. Now, I'm going to give the ground a, a color. And no, I don't want my ground yellow. So you can look this up anywhere. It's just red, green, blue. Uh, if you Google RGB, and it, it will give you the numbers so you can kind of figure out what is what. So for brown, though, I actually have written down the, the ground. Cool. All right. Now let's do some sky for the background. Awesome. And now it's time for your friend and mine, a tree. For a tree, I'm just going to do a simple rectangle. And the tree is going to be itty bitty, so I made it skinny. I'm putting it in the dead middle. Let's see. Cool. And now I'm going to want it a different color than the, than the ground that I am liking. And now a tree topper or the leaves. And it's a bit crooked, but I'm calling it good. So now I just want that to be green. Perfect. And I can even put uh, another one of these on here if I want to make my tree have a couple, uh, what do we call that? Branches? If I change this a little bit. Up, oh, there we go. Dead center. Okay, so now I have my image. This is when I start thinking about variables. What numbers am I using over and over again? That seems a bit ridiculous. I'm using 200 a lot, right? Because that's the center. And so I'm drawing my ellipse at the center, and I'm drawing my trunk at the center. So I'm just going to call this, I don't know, tree center and 200. And then I'm going to replace all the places that I'm really using this here, here, here. And even my X, I'm doing it at the center, but I'm doing minus 10. So boom. Now what else do I use a lot? Uh, tree size. I'm using 100 a lot here. So, and even here, although that doesn't need to be correlated. Let's hit run. So it still looks the same. And now we're using variables. And the nice thing too, guys, with variables, you can make changes just to test things out and it changes everywhere. I don't have to go and change this 40 places to, I don't know, maybe I want to try 150 here. Whoop. Now it's a flying tree. Definitely not, but you get the point. But, uh, Make something cool, make something nature -y. Have fun. Did I do it? Ta-da! Ta-da!